Section 6.6, .6, Division of Polynomials. We're going to start out by taking a polynomial divided by a monomial. And just as review, let's take a look at a monomial, say 45x to the 10th divided by 3x to the 4th power. We have a monomial divided by a monomial. To simplify this, we divide the coefficients, 45 divided by 3 is 15, and if the bases are similar, using laws of exponents, we subtract the exponents. So x to the 10th divided by x to the 4th is x to the 10th minus 4th power, which gives us 15 times x to the 6th power for simplification. To divide a polynomial by a monomial, we regard the division as a sum of quotients of monomials. And this uses the fact that since the rule for adding common or to add rational expressions together, we have to have a common denominator. To simplify, we have to have the common denominator is the addition of the numerators over the common denominator. And typically, when we're adding rational numbers, we go this direction. But we're also going to flip this around and recognize that if we start with this, which this is technically a polynomial divided by a monomial, we can separate it into the parts that it came from. A had to have been over C, plus B had to be over C originally for us to have combined them using the rules for adding and subtracting polynomials. So let's take a look at a polynomial divided by a monomial. We're going to apply that rule that we just looked at only in the opposite direction this polynomial came from the individual rational expressions over the common denominator. So to divide, we will take each of those terms, 20x to the fourth over the common denominator, minus 25x to the second over the common denominator, plus 20x over the common denominator. If we had, think about it, if we'd had these originally, common denominator, adding fractions or rational expressions together, we could go ahead and add the numerators. Since they're not similar terms, we would have had this. So we're essentially reversing that, and we're now ready to simplify. Just like a monomial divided by a monomial example that I started out with, we're going to simplify or divide the coefficients. 20 divided by 5 leaves a 4. x is to the first power in the denominator, subtracting exponential powers because of division of common bases. We will end up with x to the 4 minus 1 or third power. 25 divided by 5, dividing the coefficient is a 5. x to the second divided by x to the first, subtract your exponential powers, leaves x to the first power. And the last term, dividing your coefficients, 20 divided by 5 leaves a 4, and x divided by x, x to the first minus x to the first is x to the 0, which is defined as 1, or simply the x's cancel out, giving us 1. So that is our answer, the quotient to this polynomial divided by a monomial. Let's look at one more example. Again, think of going backwards on adding and or subtracting rational expressions or fractions to start off a division of a polynomial by a monomial. We'll break each of the terms in the numerator up over the common denominator that allowed them to be combined in the first place and simplify from there. So each one of the terms in the numerator has that common denominator, and now it's a matter of simplifying. 24 divided by 8 is a 3. Common bases in a division 
situation, subtract the exponents, 7 minus 3 leaves us with a fourth power. 32 divided by 8, dividing the coefficients, leaves a 4, common basis, subtract the exponents, leaves an x to the second power. 16 divided by 8 is 2, we have common basis, and we have the same power or the same power. Simplifying that, these will cancel out leaving a 1. Subtracting exponents would be an x to the 3 minus 3 or 0 power, which is 1, and 1 times 2 leaves us with 2.